Hi, are you aware that you can create and manage variables centrally in your application? Get ready to explore the concept of variables that can be defined once and utilized across various workflows in your app. We will delve into the following in this video. A variable generally holds a value and acts as a storage space. Creator allows you to declare and manage variables in a centralized repository in your application, thereby allowing you to reference them at multiple instances. This comprehensive display of all variables on a single screen enables you to promptly access and modify them whenever necessary. Creator automatically detects the data the variable holds and assigns the corresponding data type to it. For example, assume a variable a equals 10, where Creator automatically detects this as a number and assigns a numeric data type to the variable. Similarly, you can store values with different types in a variable. This table shows the list of supported data types in Creator. Now, let's look at how to declare a variable. Navigate to the settings section of your desired application. Under Developer Tools, click Variables. Then, click Create Variable to create a new one. Give a name to the variable. Next, you may add the variable to a group. A group lets you categorize variables under different sections based on specific parameters. It could be module-based or use-case-based depending on the requirement. You may either create a new group or add the variable to the predefined group which was created earlier or choose not to use any grouping. Define a value to the variable. Click Create to proceed. A variable is created. Creator automatically detects and assigns the data type. Once created, it can only hold values belonging to the same data type. Let's access a defined variable in the live app. We have an assert request form here. Let's include a variable in the success message action in a form workflow. From the editor, click the add new button to create a workflow on a form event. Choose the form, opt for created or edited option to run the event. Select Successful Form Submission to trigger the workflow. Name the workflow and click Create Workflow. Click Add New Action, then choose Deluge Script to open the Deluge Builder. Drag and drop the success message task onto the builder. Type this app.variables. which pulls up the group names and the standalone variables in that application. Here, we have added the variable success message from the group Zilker organization. If you have a variable without a designated group, you can mention the variable without citing the group name. Click Save and close the builder. Let's see how this configuration works. Access the application and fill out the asset request form. On successful form submission, the value in the configured variable will be displayed as a success message to the user. Creator gives you the flexibility to edit the values of the variables that you have already defined in your application. You may either do it by clicking the specific variable name or get into the code view mode to modify it. Editing is not just confined to values. You can also rename the variable and the group names. To rename a variable, navigate to the specific variable to rename it. Renaming a group can be done easily by hovering over the renaming icon near the group name. If a variable is no longer referenced in the app, you may proceed to delete it. To delete from the list of variables, hover over the name of the variable that you want to delete. Then, click the delete button to remove that variable. Variables in environments. Let's look at how variables work in the environments. To add an application to the environment, navigate to environments and click add application and choose the desired app. The app is now added. Each variable holds a defined and current value configured while creating the variable. Let's understand how the value of the variables changes in development, stage, and production environments while performing different tasks. The screen you see now is the defined and current values of a variable in the development environment. The defined and current value of the assets are displayed here. These values will be available in other environments only after publishing the application. Let's publish the application to the stage environment. Now the app is available in development 
and stage environments. The variable values in the stage environments mimic the values from the development environment. Let's get back to the development environment and access the asset request form. Whenever an asset is requested, the current value of the asset in the variable section will be reduced by the input value. We have a workflow configured on successful form submission to update the asset value dynamically. On successful form submission, the value changes in the development environment, whereas the stage and production environments retain the old values. Executing a script in an environment updates the current value in the respective environment without affecting the values in the other environments. Now, Let's publish the application to the stage environment and check the values. The application is now published in the stage environment. The values of variables remain unchanged. Application published from one environment to another after workflow triggers or script executions doesn't change the current values in the other environments. Now, let's trigger the same workflow in the stage environment. Access the live application of the stage environment. Fill out an asset request form. Next, go to the environments and click the settings section of the relevant app and navigate to the variables tab. Great! The current value of the asset is reduced by the input number in the asset request form. This value change is only applicable to the stage environment and does not affect the values in the other environments. The same procedure applies to the production environment as well. Executing scripts in the production environment alters the values in that respective environment. Let's check what happens when you manually change the value of variables in the development environment. If you manually alter the variable values in the development environment and then publish it to the stage or production environment, the values will be replaced with the defined and current set of values. We showed a couple of instances where you can deploy variables into your application. It can also be used for several requirements such as setting an alert message upon validation of a form, autofill a field on load of the form, to show log messages and many more. We have come to the end of this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we will see you in another one.